of mine is a he's a, a very dear friend of mine, uh, a personal friend. We hardly ever talk about cinema. Uh, we speak to each other when when we uh, are in sorrow, uh, when things do not go right in life. Then then we'd call each other and try to meet. Did Schlender arrive a little, little, or maybe years before you guys did with first films, but then get energized by by what? what uh, no, what you not were doing? really. Well, I made films uh, before Schlender. Oh, I did. mean, featurettes mm -hmm. back in 1961, 62. He came out with his first feature film, I believe, in 1966, mm -hmm. The Young Turles. Yeah. And I made my first uh, feature film, long feature film, a year later. In '67, so we, we, although he's older than me, but we we came out with our first films almost at the same time, and he's um, he's a very uh, uh, very dear friend of mine, and under uh, most vicious attack, uh, I, I was labelled as uh, as a, a criminal who had put native Indians into prison, and so. There was a lot of, of wild things going on in the world press, and 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 he stood up and and I thought the the man was going to die from a stroke because he was purple in his face and yelled at this bunch of of, of journalists, um, and mm. and I do not forget things like that. Mm. Werner, are you are you familiar with uh, YouTube? Uh, not really, but I I have. Eventually, seen a little bit, yeah, mm -hmm. maybe four or five uh, things at YouTube. Are you are you on the computer? Do you have a? I, I use a computer, but mostly for for communicating with my brother in uh, in uh, Munich, and we are nine hours apart because I live in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. So email is very good. Uh, writing a screenplay and sending it to a friend in Boston and asking him for uh, corrections in my English grammar. Mm -hmm. I know it's lousy. But um, I need corrections, and he sends it back to me half a day later. So, but I'm not very much into uh, into YouTube and things like that. I, Although I, it's a wonderful instrument, and what what we saw, the presentation of yes. the website is absolutely formid formidable, because all of a sudden the the web uh, gains significant depth. Mm -hmm. You see, it was so shallow. Much of it is so shallow and so. Um, half informed and so, and all of a sudden, um, about movies, you, you you just access this website and you will find you can branch out and mm -hmm. you can go in very deep uh, to 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 deep bottoms of of the unknown in cinema. Mm -hmm. So I salute the website. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. The the uh, I asked you about YouTube because I sort of I haven't thought this through, but but for the past several weeks. Um, I found myself feeling that that the most ex exciting thing going on in American cinema um, now is happening on YouTube. That that uh, with with such a this tremendous proliferation of cameras mm -hmm. and and with pe young people especially know how to edit on their computer now, and then they can whoosh, get it to YouTube. And um, I think I think the, the the exciting new directors are. Probably um, uh, ha doing stuff for YouTube mm -hmm. and for this sort of limitless um, uh, audience. There was a, an article, um, a column by Frank Rich uh, a mm -hmm. month or two ago, where he talked about. Uh, he came out with some t statistics about how he, he referenced, the, for example, um, Obama's speech on race and how a certain amount of people saw it broadcast live, and. 20 times that, or, or I, yeah. I don't re remember the multiples, so have seen it on YouTube. Yeah. And, and the, the idea, on the one hand, of YouTube being a, a, um, a medium for, for ideas being exchanged. Mm -hmm. um, and, and there's lots of short videos, and now you'll see more and more excerpts from speeches. Sometimes yeah. that can be used very... But you can see entire speeches. My wife, for example, watches... Uh, uh, on YouTube or uh, over the internet, <clears throat> a great discourse, for example, between political analysts, or she would see the entire speech of Obama, or mm -hmm. she would see, and, and I have to catch up with it because there's something of great significance occurring right now. And uh, I do not want to exclude myself, although I, I probably will not produce films for YouTube. 
Um, <laughs> And, and sometimes the odd things about me end up on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So you, you see some, some uh, very fancy little moments. And, uh, and somehow it's too, too selective and too exclusive to, right. to give an idea about a person. Um, so it has its disadvantages, but it will settle in. It will settle in and, and we'll have... Uh, uh, probably a, a, a great forum for for watching things as long as they are connected to a very tiny screen. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's not really my my kind of thing. I'd like to see a film on a larger screen. Well, it's intriguing. We can now see what's on a computer uh, transmitted to the large yes. screen. And there's there's some, um, uh, and enough of you too, but I do want to say there's, there are... I think thrilling. Uh, I've seen a couple of things, and I haven't really looked all over the place. I've been lucky enough to have some things sent to me, yeah. and I know some very young filmmakers who went out and blasted out some very bold, very very excellent yeah. short films, and they wind up there. And there's there's people like uh, there's a guy named uh, Dan Deacon. Mm -hmm. um, is there anyone who knows about Dan Deacon? Yes, look. Yeah. Um, and if if you type his name, and you just see all this. Fabulous yeah. new cinema. It's three minutes long or something, yeah. but but it's that's a little bit a disadvantage. It has such short breath only, and and uh, I like to tell a whole story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, but <laughs> of course uh, there there is a validity in, in in having short clips and and doing something in three minutes. Why not? Mm -hmm. But um, I believe that YouTube or other forms of, of the internet will allow us to view a, a whole three-hour movie and somehow connect it to, at home to a large flat screen and inviting a few friends and, and you have something which will um, eventually create a, a different culture of viewing films. And it's most exciting to see how, how many people there are out there. Yeah. It's just, it's just totally wild. Okay, uh, Jonathan, uh, I knew, Jonathan asked me to come up when we had to stop because I knew he was going to get uh, wrapped up in this conversation. Um, I, all I want to say is I hope you all know that you're invited to a reception that we're doing right outside to celebrate both Moving Image Source and you two amazing people.